Hi guys, welcome to the new YouTube channel Mr. Motion. In this video I am going to explain, the 12 principles of animation. Those are given by Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston. Frank and Ollie are the great animators of Disney. They made lots of animation films and shows, like Mickey Mouse, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, Dumbo, The Jungle Book, The Rescuers and much more. Squash and Stretch This is the principle that states the animated objects will get longer or flatter to emphasize their speed, momentum, weight and mass. For example when any object hits anything the impact also comes on the object like change in speed and shape. When any object hits the object it shows its properties like more squash and stretch means the object is softer and less squash and stretch means the object is harder. It also applies to the character and facial expressions. Anticipation. This principle explains, when a character prepares for an action, to give the audience a clue as to what is happening next. As well as to make the action more realistic. If any object is doing any action, then he has to prepare for the action to store the force and also give the flow of the story. For example, if anybody is running so he has to prepare for running, if he doesn't prepare then it looks odd. Staging Staging is the presentation of an idea, so that it is completely and unmistakably clear. This is a very broad principle, because it covers so many areas of animation. It can apply to the acting, timing, camera angle, position and setting. According to the principle your object has to be in the middle or one-third of the screen and don't put unusual things to fill the screen. Your camera movement has to be according to the screen and situation. If there is a text in screen then give it time to read three times. Straight ahead and pose to pose. This term describes two methods used to animate drawings. The first method straight ahead is where you draw the first drawing and then you draw the second and then third and so on. The second method pose to pose where you draw the beginning and end of each main pose and go back later to fill in the drawing in between them. Follow through and overlapping action. This is a technique of having body parts and appendages drag behind the rest of the body and continue to move when the body stops. Basically, when an object moves the tie of the appendage should be the last to catch up and when the body stops, the tip should follow through the farthest before settling back.
arms are a good place to insert follow through and overlapping action. The elbows lead the arm actions, the elbow comes first followed by the forearm, and then the hand. Slow in and slow out. This principle refers to the way, pretty much all movements start slowly, build speed and finish slowly. This is one of the most important principles to achieving life like motion. Without slow in and slow out the things feel mechanical that because robots are one thing that moves its part with constant speed. It is similar to the easy ease object that starts with slow and ends with slow. Arc. So very few organisms are capable of movements that have a mechanical in and out or up and down precision. Most living creatures will move in a circular path and also known as arc. So let's say that we were given these key poses and we are told to fill the poses in between. Simply taking the midway point between the poses will not work because this looks way too mechanical. The balls need to follow an arc. We also need to consider the slow in and slow out caused by gravity. Always try to make your object movement in the shape of arc. Secondary action. It describes gestures that support the main action to add more dimensions to the character animation. Secondary action gives extra clarification of the character's mood. Timing. This principle states that the personality and nature of animation is greatly affected by the number of frames inserted between each main action. Adding more key frames means motion is slow and adding fewer frames means motion is fast. Exaggeration Basically, every action, pose and expression can be taken to the next level to increase the impact of the viewer. Exaggeration means adding a more realistic character. So if the character was sad, make him sadder. Bright makes him brighter. Exaggeration doesn't mean more distorted, but more convincing. Solid drawing. 
This principle is about making sure that forms feel like they are in three-dimensional space with volume weight and balance. When doing a rough pass of the character, use basic solid shapes, like spheres, cubes and cylinders, to construct the character. And always try to make characters, with the help of shapes. Appeal A character that you animate should be somewhat pleasing to look at. They should have some kind of charismatic aspect to like about them. It is the designing of objects. How can you show your characters? For example, characters don't always mean good looking, it also means interesting. Always try a different shape for every character. Every good character design starts with a clear shape. Thanks for watching the videos. I hope you like the video, if you like the video, please subscribe, like, share and comments your questions.